Hello everyone, this is Barbara with Crochet Therapy and welcome to week nine of our 12 weeks of Crochet Christmas. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful, gorgeous Mobius cowl. And I know I'm a little bit close, but I wanted you to see the beautiful stitch work in this Mobius cowl. It's just gorgeous. And as with any Mobius cowl, of course, we have a twist at the bottom or the top or anywhere you want to make the twist. So this is a little bit thick. It's, it's actually, um, this one is five complete rounds complete rounds, top and bottom. If you know anything about a Mobius cowl, it is a circle that has just a little bit of a twist to it. And so, um, you know, I can't make my fingers do that twist, but you can just imagine. And so here is where the twist is coming in. Um, and so in order to do a complete round, you do a complete round of the top. And then as you're coming back around, zoom, you go right to the bottom until you complete it. It's almost like riding a roller coaster, <laughs> only it won't make you sick, promise. <laughs> In fact, I think that you will come to really love this stitch. It's just so beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's light, it's airy. And yet when it is in this cowl form, it just is warm and soft on your neck. It is a one skein project, so it's very inexpensive, and I just really think you'll love it. Um, it has a very simple border, very simple border, and the stitch is the same stitch all the way around. There's no hidden secrets to this. It is just a very simple stitch. So let's get started. Here are the things that you will need in order to make the Marielle Mobius cowl. First thing you'll need is some yarn, and this is a one skein yarn project, which makes it very nice. Now, for the um, example that I have shown you, um, that is actually only a five ounce skein of yarn. Um, because it is a patterned yarn. This solid is a seven ounce skein of yarn, which is normal for solid yarns. So if you use a solid yarn, you will definitely have enough uh, to make this pattern. And just so you know, even with the five ounces, I had plenty left over to do the border and I could have even added a second row of border. So that is really nice. The next thing is some yarn needles, a stitch marker if you feel that you need one. I don't particularly need one with this project, but sometimes it's good to have one on hand just in case. A pair of scissors to cut your work at the end, and the most important other than the yarn is the hook and the hook that I'm using is a 7.0 millimeter hook. This is my clover hook. I had to order this online from Amazon. It was about six or seven dollars for this hook. So it wasn't that expensive and this is one of my absolute favorite hooks in the world. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take our yarn and do a slip knot. Okay. Leave a long enough tail so that you can weave it in at the end. It doesn't have to be too long, just long enough. And we are going to chain 96. To chain, all you do is yarn over and pull through, and that is a chain. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And I would not um, have a very tight chain. Make sure that you are being very relaxed with your chain. So I have three chains so far. I'm going to continue until I get to 96 and I will meet you back here at 96. Okay. 
Okay, so I have a chain of 96, and what I want to do is I want to smooth it out and go all the way to the end and make sure that it's not twisted. And I want to insert my hook into this last chain without without twisting and yarn over and pull through. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. That will count as one treble crochet. Now we're going to do another treble crochet, yarn over twice, go into that same loop that we just connected to, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have two, the equivalent of two treble crochets, and you can see how they are about the same height, okay? The next thing we're going to do is chain two, one, two, and in that same stitch, we are going to double crochet. So these are all US terms. We're gonna yarn over once, go into that same loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and there we have it. We have two treble crochets, two chains, and a double crochet all in the same stitch. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is skip three chains, one, two, three, and in this fourth chain, we are going to do a treble crochet. Yarn over twice, go into that loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do another treble crochet in that same stitch, yarn over twice, go into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We are going to chain two, one, two, yarn over and do a double crochet into that same stitch. And this is the pattern that we are going to continue all the way around our Mobius cowl. Now you're going to want to make sure that you always have the flat side of your chain looking at you during this first row, okay? And that will make sure that you don't allow this to twist, okay? So the next step is we are going to skip three chains. Now this right here is the chain that we just did all of our stitches in. This little chain right here is hiding, but that is the next chain. So one, two, three, and this one right here is the fourth, the fourth chain right here. So we are going to do a treble crochet, yarn over twice, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, two, two, and two. Okay, and we're going to do another treble crochet, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So here we have two treble crochets. What's the next thing? That's right, chain two, one, two, and a double crochet into that same stitch. All right, so here's the next chain right here. One, two, three, and we're gonna go into this chain. This is going to be the most challenging part of this cowl, is making sure that you don't skip any um, hidden chains. Now here's the thing, if you get to the end and you have an extra chain, or you're missing a chain, all we're going to do is fudge it for that first row and then we're going to continue. 
Once you get it straightened out at the end, um, everything will work out. So we are not going to stress over missing a chain or not having enough at the very end. We have chained 96 and we uh, joined them together. The Mobius cowl is going to twist naturally. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, what I want you to do, let's see, we need to put one more treble crochet in here. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We're going to chain two and a double crochet in that same stitch. Okay, skip three. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. And in this fourth chain, we are going to do two treble crochets, chain two, one double crochet, and then we are going to skip three chains, two treble crochets in the fourth chain, chain two, and one double crochet. And we are going to follow this all the way around until we get to back to the beginning. Now, once we get back to the beginning, hold on and stop. And I will show you what we're going to do from there. We're not going to connect to this. Okay, so hold on and I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and continue on all around that loop until we get back to the beginning and I'll meet you back here. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have gone all the way around and we are at the very end. We did our last set of cluster crochets. We have one, two, three stitches left. And here is the fourth one, which corresponds with that very first cluster stitch. Okay, now we have this all laid flat. So we know that it is not twisted. Once we know it's not twisted, then we can go ahead and give it our own little twist, okay? Because what we're going to do with the Mobius cowl, we are going to mimic the stitches on the very bottom, the same as what we did on the top. So one complete round will be all the way around the top, and then it's going to naturally twist and go all the way around on the bottom. So what we're going to do, we have our hook in here, and we are going to twist this to the bottom. Just twist this once, and then we are going to continue with our normal stitches, two treble crochets, chain two, one double crochet, into this corresponding stitch from the very first stitch that we made. Okay, treble crochet, treble crochet, chain two, double crochet. Very nice. Then we're going to treble crochet. We're going to go over to the next cluster at the bottom of the cluster. We don't even have to count stitches. Go into the very next stitch corresponding with the next cluster. Two trebles, two chains, and one double. Next cluster, two trebles, two chains, and one double. Now, the exciting part is that as we go along the bottom, I'm gonna show you. As we go along the bottom, we are going to continue with the bottom, 
continue, continue. And then, boop, we're going to meet up with this very first stitch that we made. The very first stitch. And in that stitch, we are going to connect to the top of that chain four with a slip stitch. And then we will continue with round two. It's just that easy just that easy. So keep going and I'll meet you back when we get to the true beginning. Treble crochet, treble crochet, Chain two, double crochet. Oh yeah, so pretty. Okay, so as you can see, this is laying flat and you can see how the Mobius cowl is twisted right here. You'll only have one twist in a Mobius cowl. I am two clusters away from joining from the beginning. Okay, so we are going to treble crochet, treble crochet, chain two, and double crochet. The next one we are going to treble crochet, treble crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, now we have gone all the way around two times, a complete round, and we are ready to connect our stitches to this top of this chain four. One, two, three, four. It is right here, the top of our chain four. We're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain four. We are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch into this chain two space between the two treble crochets and the one double in that cluster. Can you see? We are in this cluster right here. We're in this chain two space and we have slip stitched into that. We are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to start this round all over again. One more treble crochet because that chain four represents the first treble crochet, chain two, and a double crochet into that same space. Okay, so we're going to go over here and here is the next cluster. Here's the chain two space between the two treble crochets and the double crochet and we are going to place two treble crochets, chain two, and a double crochet into this same space. We're going to continue this all the way around until we get a total of five complete rounds, or if you're counting row by row when you have it laid flat, it would be five rows. One, two, and you would need eight more. And we're starting on the second complete round, we need five complete rounds or 10 rows. Oops, a double crochet. And there we go. So let's keep going until we get all the way around. And once we get a little bit more done, I will show you how to do the border. Meet you back. OK, 
Okay, and for the sake of time, I am going to show you how to do the border. Once you get all of your rows complete, this is what you'll want to do. Okay, so when you're at the end of a complete round, as before, we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the fourth chain. Okay, and chain one. Now, what we're going to do is a single crochet um, in the next stitch, single crochet. And in the chain two space between uh, the two treble crochets and the double crochet, we are going to place two single crochets in that space. We're not going to try and go into the stitch. We're just going to go into the space, single crochet, single crochet. And then if you'll notice, you see a space here and a space here. We are going to put a single crochet into this space and then a single crochet into this space, a single crochet into the next space. And when I say space, I mean stitch. Here's a stitch, one, two, three, three stitches in a row. And then we get to the chain two space, two double crochets in there, stitch, 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 double or single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets in the space. And that's how we're gonna do the border. So it's very easy, single crochet in this space, single crochet in this next space, single crochet in this third space. Then we get to the chain two space. We're going to do two single crochets in that space. And then we're back to going into the stitches. Three in a row, one, two, and three, and then we're in the space, two single crochets. Now we have three stitches to do single crochets in. One, two, three, two single crochets in that space. I like the way this pattern works up because it's very methodical. And if you get this pattern down, you will never forget it. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet in the next three spaces. In this chain two space, two single crochets. And what that is doing, this single crochet border is the basis for our little edging. Now, our edging is very, very easy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this edging, and then I will show you um, an example of what that edging is like, okay? So, another single crochet in this stitch, this stitch, and two into this space. And I'm going to keep going around until I get to the end. And then I will show you the second and which is also the last round of our border. Okay, okay. so the second part of our um, border is once we get all the way around, we're going to slip stitch into the single crochet. And then we are going to chain three, one, two, three, skip a single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip a single crochet, skip a stitch, go into the next stitch and single crochet. Chain three, skip, single crochet. Chain three, skip, single crochet. Okay, and what that is going to do is give a nice little border. 
and it's just going to give a little bit of an open border because the work on the Marielle stitch is so open that we do want that single crochet row to have some stability and then we want to do just a very simple open work border. So chain three, skip a stitch, go into the next stitch and single crochet. It could not be any easier than that. This is a cowl that you can whip up inexpensively and um, quickly. It only takes one skein of yarn. So if you get this, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby on sale for $3.50 a skein. For $3.50, you can make a Mobius cowl that you can give to your friends and loved ones and they will adore it. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know down below. Thank you.